Well, hi, guys. You know, I'd like to talk a little bit today about improving the speed of your computer. Say you have a, a small netbook or laptop and you'd like to, you know, it's, you'd like to make it run faster. Uh, here are a, a few things you can do uh, to accomplish that. Uh, the first two include spending money. Number one, buy, install, and use a solid state drive. That's what I have here. Number two, buy, install, and use more system memory. Both of those things, especially the solid state drive, will vastly improve the performance and speed of your netbook, laptop, or desktop computer. Number three, install the latest BIOS for your system and also install the latest device drivers for your system. These three things will really, really help out the performance of your computer. So aside from those four things, here are four more things that you can do that are going to really help you out. Number one, if you go to Personalize, Window Color, and Disable Transparency. That actually uses quite a bit of system resources. Uh, Air, Windows Arrow will still run. You just won't have the transparency. You won't be able to see things through you know, th this part of the window. Uh, so you'll still have the, the uh, you know, features of Windows Arrow, but you just won't have the transparency. So that can be a help for some people. So I'll go ahead and put that back the way it was. The second thing you can do is go in here to Visual Effects, which you open up your uh, computer properties, go to Advanced, go to Settings, and right here in Performance Options, you have Visual Effects tab. You can adjust for best performance and that will take a lot of the eye candy away but it can save a lot of system resources so those of you who need the, the you know the extra resources and are trying to make it faster this could be a good option for you so I'm gonna cancel that out and we will move on to the next thing here and that being if you go to programs and features over here to the left side there's a there's an option that to turn Windows features on or off if you open this up there are a number of things here that the majority of people are not going to need and you know in this video I can't go into every single one but you might want to keep this in mind and when you have time uh, get online and search for Windows features and what they do and what you can get away with disabling and this can really help out um, in better utilizing your system resources as well so let's move on to the next thing here and the last thing and really this can be a controversial one it's the defragment uh, you know feature in, in Windows 7 especially in Windows 7 because they uh, they really made it a lot better but what you're gonna want to do is check the schedule you have and make it so it's gonna defragment every month or every week I think monthly for most people is gonna be sufficient and make it at a time when your computer is going to be on but you're not going to be using it because if it starts the defragment process and you're in the middle of trying to accomplish a task or playing a game or, or whatever it's going to use up a lot of resources and, and uh, slow you down so this has been you know a video on how to maybe optimize 
the performance of Windows 7 or even Windows Vista. I hope it helped. So, and there'll probably be a part two. There's a number of different things you can do. For now, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you real soon.